Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about configuring high availability for your virtual machines, but this time using availability zones. Availability zones, an alternative to availability sets, expand the level of control that you have to maintain the availability of the applications and data on your VM and it protects your applications and data from data center level failures. An availability zone is a physically separate zone within an Azure region. There are three availability zones per supported Azure region to ensure resiliency. And note that not all Azure regions have support for availability zones. Each availability zone is made up of one or more data centers and is equipped with a distinct power source, network and cooling and is logically separated from the other availability zones within the Azure region. But note that even though they are logically separated, they still have network connections between the availability zones. With availability zones, you can architect your solutions to replicate your VMs across the zones and you can protect your apps and data from the loss of a single data center. If one zone is compromised, the replicated data and apps are instantly available in another zone. So compare this with the availability set where the fault domain and update domains only deal within a particular data center, but availability zones goes beyond a single data center and provide resiliency across an entire region. The physical separation of availability zones within a region protects your applications from data center level failures and zone redundant services replicate your applications and data across availability zones to protect from single points of failure. We have already seen zone redundant applications in storage account. And with availability zones, Azure offers industry best SLA of 99.99% of VM uptime. So that's less than an hour of downtime in an entire year. Note that the availability zone in an Azure region is a combination of a fault domain and an update domain. For example, if you create three or more VMs across three different zones in an Azure region, your VMs are effectively distributed across the fault domains and the update domains. So the Azure platform recognizes the fact that you are deploying the VMs into an availability zone and make sure to deploy your VMs across different update domains so that the VMs are not affected at platform level updates. So these are some of the regions where availability zones are supported right now. And let's talk about creating a Windows virtual machine in an availability zone or creating a zoned Windows virtual machine. So creation of a zoned Windows virtual machine is very simple. Just go through the normal process of creating a virtual machine. And I will name this VM a zoned VM. And let me put that into a new resource group because I have exhausted my set of resource groups. So let me say this zoned resource group. And the availability zone is supported in the central US location. So I will not change the location. In availability options, you can go to availability zone. And here you need to specify in which of the availability zone that you would like to deploy your virtual machine. So what you would do is you would have something kind of an ARM template or Azure resource manager template and deploy your virtual machines iteratively into each of these availability zones. Before that, let me also show you that availability zone is not available in all regions. So if you select East Asia, you will note that availability zone is grayed out and you cannot select any availability zone. So it is only supported in few locations. So you can have any availability zone here.
I will just make sure that I have the inbound port HTTP, HTTPS and RDP. And let me also make sure that I have managed disk because your availability zone requires managed disk. Note that since we had selected availability zone as my availability option, unmanaged disk option is grayed out. I will also make sure that I am having the public IP address created and I will leave all other details default and create. Once created, you can navigate to the virtual machine and check that the virtual machine is indeed placed in the availability zone 1. So when you create a virtual machine and place it in an availability zone, automatically the disk as well is placed in the same availability zone. Here you see that the OS disk is placed in the same availability zone 1 and even the IP address is placed in the same availability zone 1. In this video, you have learned how to configure I availability for your virtual machines using availability zones.